Here are 30 most commonly asked interview questions and detailed answers. Related to SAP Extended Warehouse Management, SAP UAM Interviews. 1. What is SAP Extended Warehouse Management UAM? And how does it differ from SAP Warehouse Management WM? Answer. SAP UAM is an advanced warehouse management solution that provides comprehensive functionality for optimizing warehouse processes. Unlike SAP WM, UAM offers enhanced features such as advanced slotting, labor management, and improved integration capabilities. 2. Explain the key components of SAP UAM. Answer. SAP UAM comprises various components, including warehouse structure, master data, warehouse process types, handling units, labor management, and integration with other SAP modules. These components work together to manage and optimize warehouse operations. 3. What are the different deployment options available for SAP UAM? Answer. SAP UAM can be deployed as a standalone solution or integrated with SAP S4 HANA as an embedded UAM. The deployment choice depends on the organization-specific requirements and existing SAP landscape. 4. How does SAP UAM handle inbound processes such as goods receipt and put away? Answer. Inbound processes in SAP UAM involve goods receipt and put away activities. The system supports various strategies for put away, including fixed bin strategies, dynamic slotting, and system guided put away based on storage bin determination rules. 5. Explain the concept of warehouse orders WO in SAP UAM and their role in warehouse operations. Answer. Warehouse orders in SAP UAM represent tasks assigned to warehouse workers for specific activities, such as picking, packing, or replenishment. They play a crucial role in orchestrating and optimizing warehouse processes. 6. What is the significance of storage control in SAP UAM? and how does it optimize storage bin selection? Answer, storage control in SAP UAM determines the optimal storage bin for goods based on various factors, including storage bin determination rules, warehouse layout, and stock placement strategies. It aims to minimize travel distances and maximize efficiency. 7. How does SAP UAM support the outbound processes, including picking and packing? Answer, SAP UAM provides flexible picking strategies, such as wave picking, zone picking, and cluster picking, to optimize outbound processes. Packing functionality ensures efficient packaging and shipping of goods. 8. Explain the role of handling units whose in SAP UAM, and how do they enhance warehouse operations? Answer, handling units in SAP UAM represent physical units of goods such as pallets or cartons. They enable the grouping of items for streamlined processing, tracking, and visibility throughout the warehouse. 9. What is cross-docking in SAP UAM, and how does it benefit warehouse efficiency? Answer. Cross-docking in SAP UAM involves the direct transfer of goods from inbound to outbound processes without storage in the warehouse. It reduces handling and storage time, improving overall warehouse efficiency. 10. Explain the concept of labor management in SAP UAM and its role in workforce optimization. Answer. Labor management in SAP UAM focuses on optimizing workforce productivity by tracking and analyzing labor-related data. It includes features like labor standards, performance monitoring, and resource allocation. 11. How does SAP UAM handle the integration with transportation management systems for efficient logistics operations? Answer, SAP UAM integrates with transportation management systems to optimize logistics operations. It supports features like carrier selection, transportation planning, and execution, ensuring end-to-end -end visibility and control. 12. Explain the concept of yard management in SAP UAM and its role in managing external storage areas. Answer. Yard management in SAP UAM involves the efficient management of external storage areas, such as yards or docks. It optimizes the movement of goods between the warehouse and transportation units. 
13. What are the key features of SAP Yume's warehouse monitor, and how does it support real-time visibility? Answer. The warehouse monitor in SAP UM provides real-time visibility into warehouse operations. It includes features like graphical representation of warehouse layout, task monitoring, and exception handling for proactive decision-making. 14. Explain the concept of slotting in SAP UM and its impact on warehouse efficiency. Answer. Slotting in SAP UM involves optimizing the placement of goods within the warehouse. Based on factors like demand, storage characteristics, and picking frequencies, it aims to minimize travel distances and improve picking efficiency. 15. How does SAP UM handle returns, processing, and what features support reverse logistics? Answer. SAP UM supports efficient returns processing by integrating with reverse logistics processes. It includes features such as return orders, quality inspection, and restocking to streamline the handling of returned goods. 16. What is the significance of resource management in SAP UM, and how does it optimize resource allocation? Answer. Resource management in SAP UM involves the efficient allocation of resources, such as warehouse workers, equipment, and vehicles. It ensures optimal resource utilization and supports dynamic resource assignments. 17. Explain the concept of value-added services VAS in SAP UM and how it enhances warehouse capabilities. Answer. Value-added services in SAP UM involve additional services performed on goods, such as kitting, labeling, or packaging. It adds flexibility to warehouse operations and supports customized handling of products. 18. How does SAP UM handle the integration with external warehouse automation systems? Answer. SAP UM seamlessly integrates with external warehouse automation systems, such as conveyor systems or automated storage and retrieval systems as RS. It ensures synchronized and efficient operations between manual and automated processes. 19. Explain the role of SAP. UM, labor management, KPIs, and how they contribute to performance monitoring. Answer, SAP, UM, labor management, KPIs key performance indicators provide insights into workforce performance. They include metrics such as productivity, accuracy, and utilization, supporting continuous improvement and optimization. 20. How does SAP UM support the integration with SAP S for HANA and other SAP modules? Answer. SAP UM integrates seamlessly with SAP S for HANA and other SAP modules, ensuring a holistic approach to business processes. It facilitates end-to-end -end visibility and data consistency across the entire supply chain. 21. Explain the concept of kit to stock and kit to order processes in SAP UM. Answer. Kit to stock in SAP UM involves pre-assembling kits and placing them in stock, ready for immediate shipment. Kit to order involves assembling kits based on specific customer orders, supporting flexible order fulfillment strategies. 22. What are the key features of SAP UM's quality management and how does it ensure product quality? Answer. SAP UM's quality management features include inspection processes, quality checks, and integration with SAPCOM. It ensures that only high-quality products are accepted into stock and shipped to customers. 23. How does SAP UM handle serialization and tracking of individual items in the warehouse? Answer. SAP UM supports serialization to assign unique identifiers to individual items. It enables precise tracking and tracing of products throughout the warehouse and supply chain enhancing visibility and compliance. 24. Explain the concept of labor standards in SAP UM and how they contribute to performance measurement. Answer. Labor standards in SAP UM define the expected time and effort required to perform specific warehouse tasks. They serve as benchmarks for measuring workforce performance and efficiency. 25. What is the role of SAP UM in supporting the integration of RFID technology for inventory tracking? Answer. 
SAP UM integrates with RFID radio frequency identification technology for enhanced inventory tracking and visibility. It enables real-time monitoring of goods movement and accurate inventory management. 26. Explain the concept of wave management in SAP UM and its role in optimizing order picking. Answer. Wave management in SAP UM involves grouping and releasing orders for simultaneous processing. It optimizes order picking by combining similar tasks and minimizing travel distances, improving overall efficiency. 27. How does SAP UM handle the optimization of storage bin determination for goods put away? Answer. SAP UM optimizes storage bin determination based on various factors including storage bin determination rules, putaway strategies, and warehouse layout. It aims to minimize travel distances and ensure efficient storage utilization. 28. Explain the concept of resource-related billing ARB in SAP UM and its role in cost allocation. Answer. Resource-related billing in SAP UM involves billing customers based on the resources consumed during warehouse activities. It enables accurate cost allocation and supports revenue generation for warehouse services. 29. What is the role of SAP UM slotting and rearrangement cockpit in warehouse optimization? Answer. The slotting and rearrangement cockpit in SAP UM provides tools for optimizing storage bin assignments and rearranging goods within the warehouse. It ensures continuous improvement of storage efficiency. 30. How does SAP UM handle the integration with third-party logistics 3PEL providers for collaborative warehouse management? Answer, SAP UM supports the seamless integration with third-party logistics providers, enabling collaborative warehouse management. It includes features for shared visibility, data exchange, and coordinated operations to meet customer requirements. These questions and answers cover various aspects of SAP Extended Warehouse Management SAP UM, including its components, features, integration capabilities, and optimization techniques. Interviewers may tailor questions based on the candidate's experience level and the specific requirements of the organization. For more exciting tips, tricks and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, please share like and subscribe to my channel it has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews it has a wide range of real world portfolio projects of various technologies for interviews and it has wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science sap aws devops and full stack web development and more that will be useful during interviews it has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers and real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for freshers. For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most. Asked interview questions and make themselves ready for interviews.